Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kristen and we are doing something away from the new neighborhood, uh, away from the new expansion pack. We are in Newcrest and we are building a good old suburban home. Uh, nothing special. Well, there is a little bit of something special in this house and I'll get into that in a little bit, but it is a three generation suburban house and it it came out really good. I think it came out really cute and it's a little bit different than I've done before. So I ended up, you know, thank you to the individual that let me know that we have windows that have little like screens on them on one of the swatches and you can use that and make a screened in pool. And so that is exactly what I did in this build. And so definitely stay tuned to watch that. That is towards the end of this video and it turned out so good. So yeah, thank you again to that one person that let me know about that. It actually, those windows come in one of the kits. I think it's the Greenhouse Haven kit. And I, I was really happy when I read that comment <laughs> because I have, told you guys a few times now that I really want to try to figure out how to do a screened in pool in The Sims not using any like CC or mods or anything like that and so I was really happy that there is a way to do that and it's not that hard at all and so yeah stay tuned for that but as of right now we are just designing the exterior of the build I actually was looking at a reference picture off of Google. I mean, nothing special, it was just off of Google. Just a suburban house from Google. And I just needed something to get the shape of the house off of. And once I started building it, it doesn't look exactly like my reference picture. It looks similar, but not exact. And um, I actually really enjoy the shape of this house. And I don't use this green paneling very often, and I was able to use it in this build. And I absolutely love the color of the paneling like the green color it's almost like an emerald green I don't really know how to explain the color or like the name of the color like what the color is called but I love that color green and for some reason they only have it on as a swatch on the paneling in the base game that has like the columns on the side of it like the built-in columns where you have to strategically place your walls in order to even see the column. And so I just, it's not ideal, but I put other, the columns from Get Together, the plain white ones, I put those over the pre-made columns. And yeah, so not ideal, but it covers it up a little bit. You have to, like I was saying, strategically place the walls. It has to be at least two squares of a room to be able to see the paneling and I'm not really sure why it is like that. It's it's a little aggravating, but it it is like that, it, it's a thing. But um, yeah, not really sure why, but there's ways to get around it. <laughs> and when I started this house, it was actually before the new expansion pack came out. And so we did not have the round pools yet, or we did, and I just didn't notice them. And so I have a square pool as of right now, and it doesn't look like much. I don't think of the screened in idea until I come back to this build like a couple days later. And I was looking at the backyard and I was like, this is kind of like boring. Like this is a pretty good house. I like the layout. I like that it's for three different generations and it's detailed and I like the house, but the backyard is just not it. <laughs> I need to make it look better. And so that is when I remembered that there is now round pool. So I switch out the pools. And then I also remembered that there is the screened in like window that I can make the screened in pool. And that's what I did. So it's definitely exciting and it was fun. And this is not gonna be the only time I'm going to do a screened in pool. Um, but I guess enough about the screen and pool. Can you guys tell that I'm excited about it? <laughs> um, I am trying to figure out the floor plan of this house. It did give me a little bit of a hard time at first. 
I knew that I wanted to do three bedrooms, uh, or not three bedrooms, but three generations. And so I needed a lot of bedrooms and that garage I actually renovate from a garage to a bedroom. So it's no longer a garage. It just looks like a garage on the outside. The inside, it is the grandparents' bedroom and they have their own bathroom in there. And then downstairs, I have the teenager's bedroom down there as well. And upstairs, that is where the parents' master bedroom is and I have the child's bedroom and the toddler's bedroom. And then there is also a cat that lives in this house. So if you count the two grandparents, the two parents, there's a teen, child, toddler, cat. That is an eight person household. So this is a huge household. This, this will be a lot of work if you have all eight Sims live here. But I honestly feel like that's what really makes the game fun. It gets kind of boring having just like one Sim. Um, it gets interesting when you have six plus Sims, five plus Sims, really. I mean, anything above five is kind of, <laughs> it's interesting. Let's just put it that way. Um, but yeah, we're messing around a little bit back here in the back uh, before we get inside and actually start furnishing the inside. And basically everything that's here right now is not how it's gonna look. It's going to look 10 times better. <laughs> like I, I really am happy with the way that the screened in porch turned out. This is not gonna be the last time that I do the screened in porch. That was so fun to build and it turned out so good. I wasn't sure how I was going to do the roof because there is not a screened in porch roof, but I was able to just do like a glass roof and it, we can pretend that it's a screened in roof or we can just act like it's uh it's just like an indoor pool with like screens on the side. I don't know. It, it's supposed to be a screened in porch. Okay. <laughs> with the pool in it. Uh, so that we're, we're just going to pretend that the roof is not glass. It is screened. So, yes, uh, I am just going out and adding some lights in this house. This is a huge house. And so I am, just a minute, I'm going to start placing furniture around just to see what rooms I want to be what. And so I'll like add the beds and the bathroom stuff. I think the bathroom stuff, but at least the beds. And just trying to figure out the floor plan. And uh, there is the kitchen. That is actually the first room we are going to furnish. And I love the way that this kitchen turned out. I was able to, it's really quite a big kitchen to be honest. And I was able to add like a little area where you could, it has the stove top, uh, like the counter stove top. And so, and then the oven is like separate from it. That's from the dream home decorator pack. And so we've got that with some like stools on the little like bar that's there and not like a real bar it's a counter bar like an island and it it turned out super cute at first i didn't really know what color i wanted to do with the kitchen i started off originally with this gray color since that floor is kind of i think it's really the blue swatch it it looks blue now anyways. I'm not sure if it's the blue one or the gray one because there is a gray one with this uh, floor pattern. I, I'm pretty sure it's the blue one though. And so I'm just trying to place things how I want it with like trying to decide the color and the walls, honestly, the color of the walls gave me kind of a hard time. And I could not decide what tile I wanted to do on the walls and I had a hard time trying to make it match and yeah. And then I also went with like this green color. I I was just trying things out at this point, guys. <laughs> it it just was yeah, I just had to put it back. It was not it was looking worse and worse. So I end up just changing it to this color of counter. I'm pretty sure this is the counter that I end up staying with. And this is probably my favorite color of these counters and these counters honestly are probably my favorites in the game. I do like that four rent one that had the green swatch. I do like that, but it just wasn't looking good in this particular kitchen. And so I had to do away with that. <laughs> and then I ended up just going with this color scheme with the, the walls end up 
staying the same and the flooring and I think it turned out pretty cute. I want it to look really homey. It matches the house that is on the exterior. I tend to do a lot of blue and so I ended up not wanting to do blue in the kitchen. I wanted to keep it more of like a greenish and so there's not much green. The flooring that is the green swatch I think but other than that there's not much green besides the different like color of the decor around the kitchen and I wanted to make this look really like filled in and like decorated and like there is three different generations living here the grandma and the mom both they love to cook and so this kitchen is like the heart of the house this is where a lot of the family gathers either the kitchen or the dining room or the living room right next to it and so I wanted to make it look uh look cluttered in in the way that I imagined it to be and then I also put some cat bowls there since they do have a cat and then I got some treats out. Yeah, those those are dog treats, but we're gonna pretend that they're cat treats because they don't have cat treats in the game. I feel like all of the game, like the treats in the game, the decoration ones, they look like dog treats. They don't really have any of the cat treat ones. And then I end up putting like lunch boxes there. And looking back, that actually matches with the the way that I do the teen's room and the child's room, the child's room is more of like a greenish color and then the teen's room, it's it's more of a, like a black and purplish, some blue accents, but that lunchbox looks like a teenager's lunchbox because they like to write all over the, their lunchbox and have their friends sign it or make little doodles and so I thought that was fun. And then I just went to the gallery and pulled out some of those children's drawings. That's something that I do often. It's just so much easier doing it that way than having the child actually color them in game and wait for the child to be done and hopefully it's the one that you want and most likely it's not going to be the one that you want and so it's easier just to get it off the gallery. And then we, this is where I'm just adding the different beds and stuff because it was getting a little bit overwhelming. It's kind of a big house <laughs> and so I was just trying to figure out what I was going to do with each room. And I ended up having that room to the top left there that has that white bed. Right now, it has a bed in there, but I come to realize, oh, I have like a lot of rooms here that, too many rooms for the amount of Sims that are actually gonna live here. And so I end up doing away with that room upstairs and opening it up and it's more of like an extra space. I end up just putting a computer table in there along with that cat tree. Um, I, cat trees are something I forget to use in builds even though I think they're so cute and I really want a cat tree in real life but every time I've ever had a cat tree my cats don't use that stuff I don't do you guys have cats that actually use the cat trees you get for them because my cats don't they're kind of a pain in the butt when it comes to that I will spend 150 bucks 200 bucks on a nice cat tree and I set it up for them and they don't use it they'd rather claw my furniture up or just like jump off the couch onto the table onto my like fireplace mantle and like my cats are crazy and they don't play with toys that I get them I don't know why I think that's a cat thing I think they're just kind of a, a pain in the butt like that <laughs> dogs can be too but my dogs they play with every toy that I've ever gotten them so that's a little bit of a difference between dogs and cats. Cats do their own thing and they don't want to do what you tell them to do. <laughs> dogs, they listen. They listen more. And so, yeah, so I ended up already getting the dining room together. I just put like one of those long tables there with chairs all around it. So it, it's good enough for eight Sims. And so there's only like seven human Sims that live here. So you can have like one guest over. <laughs> And then there's the two table or the two chairs at the island. So there's plenty of seating in this house. This is really a good house if your Sims are social and they like to have parties and get togethers. This is a great house for that. There's plenty of seating in this house. I have this living room here and over in the front of the house, there's like an additional like living room seating area. That's more of like the nicer people don't typically hang out there. Where they hang out is this living room. I end up putting a 
like a gaming system in here, the PS4 or Xbox or whatever it is, the like the console gaming system right next to the TV and the fireplace there and I use this coffee table and the, I don't like to use too many of the kits because I know a lot of people don't really get the kits but the kits do I mean they do have some pretty good stuff in there I'm not gonna lie you might not get a whole bunch of stuff for your money it's five bucks you probably get like four, 14 15 items in each of the kits so it's really not the best price um, but I get kids if there's stuff in there that I like and that coffee table is my f all time favorite coffee table in the game and it came in one of the kids I think it came in one of my least favorite kits and this is like my favorite item in the whole kit it's the decor to the max I can't stand that kit there's nothing in that kit that I like besides that coffee table at least I think that came out of that kit. I'm not 100% sure. The kits are kind of fuzzy to me. I know a lot of the packs and what stuff comes with what packs, but the kits are fuzzy. They There's just so many of them coming out one after another, and so it gets a little fuzzy for me. And then, so you guys seen I put the gaming console right there next to the fireplace, and I got some of those controllers out of debug and I put it in front of the gaming system and I love to do that because you know that's realistic in real life if you have a console you're gonna have the controllers right next to it so and it reminds me of the sims 2 they had a gaming console it's like that blue and orange one and they actually had the controllers right there next to it and the sims 2 really had a it had it down just making it realistic and making just little animations that made the game so your sim would actually go and pick up the controller and then go to the couch and play it and I absolutely love that about The Sims 2. The Sims 2 is like my all-time favorite Sims game. I grew up playing it so I might have had some rose-colored glasses as a child playing The Sims but even as an adult when I go back and I play it I absolutely love it. It brings back really good memories and I just love The Sims 2. I am a sucker for The Sims 2. <laughs> so we are over into the teenager's room now and I ended up, this was going to be another bathroom right there where her closet is, but I had so many bathrooms already. I don't need like five, six bathrooms in a house. There's four of them and that's plenty enough anyways. Like this is a huge house guys. And so I ended up just giving her a walk-in closet. And I thought it turned out really cute, and that's definitely a something a teen girl would want, so I thought it was it was perfect. And it's, yeah, it's like a black and purple-ish theme. I tried to give this teenager personality, so she's really into, like, astrology and um, kind of just more alternative style and stuff like that, and those curtains... I thought was different and I wanted this room to be kind of different and I thought it was cute and I love that heart-shaped chair to you guys like that chair is so cute that came from one of the kids too I think it was the kid that Plumbella made like the um, I don't ever remember the name of that one it's the cutesy one though and then I'm putting a TV in here and that's something about this house every single room has their own TV besides the toddler, but honestly, I could have put one in the toddler's room too, now that I'm thinking about it. That's not something I do very often. And so here, I'm just cutting out some of the walls so that I can put something on the side of that computer table. I wanted this room to be really cluttered like um, a teen's girl's room would be. They have a lot of decorations everywhere. And I know I had, it wasn't as cluttered as this, but when I was a teenager, if I could have as much clutter for my room as possible, I would just put random stuff everywhere. And like on my walls, I had a lot of like posters or like I had like a t-shirt that I really liked that I never wore and stuff and I put that on my wall. And I just, um, I tried to fill it up as much as possible. And then, so we are for this walk-in closet. I ended up putting the shoe rack in here and so you can actually use this shoe rack to make it to where your sims have to take off their shoes in this house and I do like that they added that it makes it really like realistic and you know in real life most people walk barefooted around their house most people I 
used to all the time as a kid, but I don't do it much anymore. I just put, I just wear flip flops. <laughs> but um, I know a lot of people prefer to be barefooted. And so I think that's like a really realistic just touch. And I know it's technically set to where like, it's rude if you wear shoes in someone's house in the sands. That's like how it is. It's, it came from the Snowy Escape expansion pack. And so that is just their culture over in like Japan. You're supposed to have no shoes on in the house and it's rude if you have them on. And so I just kind of pretend that it's not always like that. It's just your Sims choose to take the shoes off, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, uh, I, I kind of wish they didn't have the mood lit where like they get embarrassed or in trouble if they wear shoes in someone's house. I think that that is cool if it's as an option, but you also have an option to where it's just a choice and you don't get like scolded for wearing shoes. Um, I, I wish there was more of a variety of choices there. But nonetheless, they at least made it to where you take your shoes off and no, your Sim doesn't bend down to take the shoe off. You know, that would be too much, too much for the Sims team to do apparently. In the Sims 2, they would have had that happen, but the Sims 4 is just different. They, they cut corners in this game. And um, I mean, honestly, they probably do it to make the game run faster. The game does run really good, at least for my computer. I don't have anything extraordinary. I'm literally playing off a laptop. It's considered a gaming laptop, but it's like a low cost la gaming laptop. And so it's nothing really that special and it runs the game really good. So that's probably why they cut corners like they do. And so we are over into the grandparents room now. And I, this, this whole area over here, I had no idea what to do because I already had the dresser with the TV on top of it over in front of the bed. And so this area was super blank and I had no idea what to do. So I ended up making like an L-shaped computer table and I really think it turned out good. I like the way that it turned out and the way that it looks and stuff. And like one of the tables has the computer on there and then the other table's pretty much just with like books and different decoration pieces. And this room definitely looks like an older couple would live here. <laughs> and this is their bathroom. Nothing too special here. Um, I actually don't love the way that this bathroom turned out. I could have done it a little bit different. There's just a, a tub with the toilet and sink and stuff. Definitely the bathrooms upstairs look so much better than the bathrooms downstairs, but it is what it is. They're not the worst bathrooms I've ever done. And so now I remembered there are pillows in the game. And so since I had such a big U-shaped sectional here, I wanted to add the pillows. It gave it a little bit something, it, it needed something. And so I added the pillows and I think it turned out really, really good when I added the pillows. And so this is the other like seating area, not really living room, it's more of just like, just like a sitting area. And I actually end up putting another sectional here. So the couch that you see here now is not gonna stay. I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I want to do with that space. And I could not figure it out. So I had to just stop what I was doing there and go outside. I came across these rocking chairs and I figured that would be a really like good little thing, like the little seats to put out on the front balcony. I figured this is where the old couple liked to go, where the, uh, the two parents of the children are off at work that day the children are all at school so it's just the elder couple that lives here and that is where they like to spend a lot of their days just out there watching the cars go by and waving at their neighbors and just having a slow easy day that is what they like to do and so this is actually a office this is where the mom works from home at. I don't really know what she does, but whatever she does, she can work from home. And there is definitely not a shortage of computers in this build. So there is a, an office here, and then I put another computer table upstairs in that little like empty area right before you go out of the balcony. And I think I put computer, I put a computer in the grandparents room, I put one in the teens room, 
and so there's like four computers in this house there's definitely enough for all of the sims to share and i can't remember if i put one somewhere else too i don't think i put one anywhere else so there's about four computers here and then i am also putting this cork board and i like to add that calendar there i think it's so funny it's like supposed to be like one of those sexy uh calendars that have like the shirtless men so I think that's funny. This is the mom's office, so that's something that she put there. <laughs> it's just like a cute little touch. And I put it on the cork board. It like fits perfectly on the cork board. And then I put some postcards right there next to it that came from maybe some of their family members that travel. And so yeah, that is the office. And now we are over into the front area, trying to figure out exactly what to put in this front area. I end up just putting a like little like the circular round sectional I thought it fit really good there and it used up a lot of space and that is what is needed in this big house and then I also put a bookcase here and this one actually came from snowy escape and I love the way this one looks I love the tears and it it looks really cute and it matches really good the color matches perfectly in this house and i put a like aquarium there a fish tank and just some different decorations trying to make it look fuller and then i also just put a little rug there in front and like the front of the front door and that's about it and then maybe yeah I put some pictures here and I might put a plant there in the corner that's like yeah there's a plant there I I hate having an empty corner and so if I have an empty corner when in doubt just place a plant there and it'll look fine and now we are over into the bathroom I was going to put the litter box in the bathroom but I ran out of space and so I ended up having to just put that in the office instead not ideal but this is the same, so it doesn't really matter <laughs> as long as it works and it's functional. And so nothing too special about this bathroom. I went back and forth on the colors that I wanted to do in this bathroom and it finally just got to the point where that bathroom mainly is going to be used by the teenager and anyone that has to go to the bathroom that's like a guest in the house. This is like the main bathroom downstairs. And so uh, I tried to make it look like a teen girl used this bathroom a lot and then obviously there's a toddler that lives here and a child and so if the bathroom upstairs is taken they can also use this downstairs too. So this will be used by a couple different people. So I put like those children's towels there and just tried to make it look, you know, actually used by a family. And I always put soap dishes and toothbrushes on the sink in every single one of my bathrooms even if it's not a family bathroom and it's just like a single sim bathroom i'll still put toothbrushes there because everyone has to brush their teeth and now we are upstairs and i am doing the children or the child's bedroom now i did not know what style I wanted to make this room. It ended up just being this green color. Looking back, I don't love the way this room looks. Like the colors don't go together. I don't really know why I chose that bed. I should have switched that bed out. But oh yeah, this is like after I came back after the new kit or the new expansion pack came out. So I got like that light there and then those that lip couch I think is so cute I love the little lip couch and I think there's one in the Sims 2 too if I'm not mistaken it looks different than that this couch does look better than the Sims 2 couch that's one thing the Sims 4 does better than the Sims 2 it's not much but they do make like better looking objects I mean it's a more modern game it's more up to date with the style so of course the objects are gonna look better um, but the gameplay wise Sims 2 is superior and will always be I think but I also put a little hamster cage up here in the child's room and a stuffed animal, just really trying to fill up the space. And I also gave him his own little console system up here. And he, that's what he likes to do is play games and just some posters trying to fill up the room. I didn't take too much time on the child's room. There's not much else I do in there. Oh, and I had to 
take that little, like the number, the house number, you know, and I had to put it outside somewhere. You cannot see it from the front of the house. I mean, it's kind of hidden behind an, a pillar or a column, but we know it's there. And so it, it looks cute when you have all the walls down, it, we know it's there. And this is the upstairs bathroom. So I ended up doing something a little bit different with the shower. So I used the new shower from Lovestruck that like it's kind of in the wall and it's a lonely, just standing shower. And it's really skimpy. Like there's nothing, you're out in the open. Um, which is good if you're trying to do a small bathroom. But I had enough space in here and I don't know, I just came up with the idea of using that curtain that is from For Rent and making a shower. So I did something similar like this. It wasn't a shower, it was supposed to be a dressing room when I made those beach pier shops. And so I took that idea and I made a shower out of it. And I really like the way it turned out. And I, am, I liked it so much, I'm doing the same thing over here. <laughs> and. I'm actually, I made a his and her shower here, so actually the married couple can both take showers at the same time. I really like that idea, and I got that idea from the cruise cabin me and my fiance is going to when we are getting married next year, and we got the cabin that has, it's like a suite, and so in the bathroom they have a his and her shower like that, and it looks so good. and. The shower is going to be awesome and I can't, it has like the rain head and it looks really good. I'm so excited for that trip and it's going to be so fun and we're going to get married at the same time so it, it's going to be great. And then I am, also I put one of those big garden tubs in here and then I'm just trying to put some wall art, trying to fill it up a little bit. It's very green in here and that kind of goes with the parents bedroom in a way. I kind of, I don't know, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> I was going to make it green in here, but looking back, it's not green at all. It's more of just like a, a kind of neutral-ish, uh, some blue accents. There's not much green. And at this point, um, it was such a big house that I'm running out of ideas to do for the bedrooms and stuff, because I want it all to look different, of course, and I'm just running out of ideas. And I didn't know what else to put in the bedroom I didn't really want to add another TV and stuff and so I guess not every single room in this house has TVs instead the parents have their own like closet and it's like the closet built into the wall and kind of adds an extra like something in that room anyways to break it up a little bit it was kind of big and here is the balcony um, there is nothing else on the balcony besides the telescope I didn't know what else to put there guys I was running out of ideas <laughs> and so it, there's just a telescope I figured the dad loves to look out on the telescope and look for different constellations and aliens maybe uh, you never know and he better be careful before he gets abducted by aliens and has an alien baby <laughs> um, but anyway so this is when I f uh, remembered there is, in fact, round pools now. Right now, I'm trying to figure out something different. I want it to look like uh, round pools at the resort where it's kind of like smaller on one side and bigger on the other side and kind of oddly shaped, but in a cool way. And I couldn't figure it out, so I just gave up on that idea. There wasn't enough space anyways, to be honest, and so, yeah. Anyways, we are like, I'm just placing different things out here around trying to figure out what exactly I want to put out here and this little area right here ends up having a roof over it with a ceiling and stuff and you'll see that here in a little bit once I realize oh yeah I remember what that one person told me and commented on my video that time that you can in fact use those windows these windows right here yeah, that is when I figured it out. I was like, is this the window that they were talking about? And yes, yes it was. And so this is where I'm making the screened in porch. And I end up changing all this to white. I do like that like wood color, but it didn't really match the outside. And so I ended up changing it all to white. And then like once I had all this added, I realized, oh, this is like really dark. 
um, and I can't add ceiling lights because the roof is the clear glass roof and so I had to figure something else out and I kind of I figured it out I'll just have to explain it to you guys once we get over there in that area um, I pretty much just hid the lights and the spandrel I sized down those like round lights in the base game the best ones and I placed it in the spandrel so it lights up nice and so that area that I had the grill at I actually put the roof there because I tried to make that like the glass roof as well but you could see where the two roofs meet and I did not like that at all and so I ended up just putting like an actual roof over that piece and it kind of makes sense now your sim can grill without getting rained on and so yeah this is pretty much what the screened and pool looks like I do add more stuff more color uh, more lighting should I say it is very dark right now <laughs> but here in just a little bit I realize or I figure out what I can do to make it brighter so yeah this is where I figured it out and the round pool looks really cool and I use those new lights and the love struck expansion pack and then I have the the little like diving board thing there and I think it turned out super cute and over here I end up changing that tree and I put I take out the swing and all that stuff and I end up putting just the tree with the treehouse and that is where the children and the teens in this house love to hang out away from their parents this is a really fun backyard there's not much to it there's just that tree with the treehouse and then the pool of course and yeah I mean that's pretty much it I do go back here in just a minute and realize that I forgot to do a couple rooms upstairs I forgot to do the nursery with the infant I was saying toddler this whole time guys it is literally just an infant it's it's not a toddler and so I have to do the nursery with the infant's room and then that little hallway that has nothing. And so for the infant's room, nothing special. It's just a pink infant's room with like a changing table and some decorations on the wall, maybe some toys. That's about it. There's, there's nothing special at all. I run out of ideas of what to do for nurseries. A lot of my nurseries look very similar to each other and I really need to expand my horizons with the nurseries. I just run out of ideas and by the time I get to the nurseries, I'm kind of like done with the build anyways. I always wait till the end for them. I, I don't know why, but I do. Well guys, we are coming up to the end now. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, then leave a like on this video it really helps the algorithm kick it to other simmers just like you that would enjoy it as well and tell me down below what is your favorite part of this build my favorite part of course is the screened in pool I have been wanting to do that for so long and it was so fun so if you enjoyed this like I said leave a like and also subscribe if you have not already and I hope you all have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next one soon. Bye, guys. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. Night's young, it has just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night.